Hi everybody, welcome back to Prison Architect. That's right, I bet you were expecting The Witcher tonight. Well, um, my air conditioning is in. This is like hot off the press. The air conditioning is in, and I can uh, truly say to you right now that my dad garage, uh, my warm sweaty dad hole is nice and cool now. And uh, it feels great, it's really, really nice. Um, so here we go, Prison Architect, because it's uh, easier to record one of these than it is to do a whole series or session of The Witcher. Anyway, enough shop top for now. We're back in um, the uh, Upper New York State Women's Correctional uh, Penitentiary Facility for uh, people who have pretty much just done bad stuff. Bad stuff including tattooing your face, you should never really do that. I mean, don't get me wrong, if that's what you want to do, go for it. But um, just bear in mind that when you get to prison, people are going to expect you to be tough as hell. And if you're not tough as hell and you have a tattoo on your face, well, that's misleading. And maybe people will expect more from you than you're uh, able to deliver. Uh, that's all I'm saying. So you don't want to be in that situation at all, probably, right? Great. Uh, while these people are um, going to do stuff, I guess, it looks like they're all heading back to their cells to go to the toilet and stuff. Now would probably be a good time to search the cell block. Hell yeah, that's right. Just a little impromptu search. People aren't going to be too happy about this, but we want to make sure that nobody's smuggling in contraband. Nobody has like a hacksaw inside their cell. Worse than that, somebody could actually have hacksaw Jim Duggan himself in their cell, which would be weird. This is a women's prison. There shouldn't be any men uh, with uh, two by fours inside uh, the cells with these women, but we might find them. And if we do find them, hey, it looks like we found all the drugs. Look at it, we've just come into a whole bunch of money. Uh, that's great. Okay, so governmental uh, security rating is our next grant uh, that we're trying to, uh, to do. We need to assign two dog handlers in a dog patrol. Uh, wait, assign two dog handlers to a dog patrol. Surely we've done that. Have I not done that already? Like, we should have a lot of... We have one can't... Oh, is it because he's... Oh, I see. It's because they're sleeping. Look, the dogs are sleeping. Add two right. It's 11 o'clock at night. These dogs should be asleep. Dogs need sleep just as much as anyone else needs sleep. Oh, it looks like we have a couple of um, girls or women, ladies... However, however, females um, prefer to be called nowadays. Heading into solitary. Wow, there's a whole bunch of them. And it looks like that's probably off the back of us finding a baton and probably drugs and God knows what in the cells. Medium security, always like a giant pain in the ass. But uh, this is pretty good. Uh, Intelligence-wise, informants, uh, we, have a, uh, we have one CI over here. It's uh, Noel Fleming. She's, um, or is it Noelle? If you're a woman, I think it's Noelle, actually. Uh, Noelle Fleming is, uh, is kind of trying to find out things for us. She has a 19% coverage currently. Looks like she's found out that uh, whoever this is is a skilled fighter. Uh, maybe with any luck, I'll be able to actually hover over her. It's, it's Lila Griffin, very skilled at fighting. So, worth remembering if anybody is going to try to uh, mess around with Lila Griffin. Okay, uh, what do we have uh, left to do then? We, uh, wow, we need uh, an intake. We need a big intake. We have five normal security turning up. We have uh, lots of space for um, parents uh, that's not being used right now because I think we only have one parent currently in the jail and she's in medium security. She's in one of these family cells here, I guess. Um, so I guess we're gonna have to expand again with the 42,392 bucks that we have. We have to up our prisoner capacity. I mean, we could just try to ram in a couple of, uh, Minsec people into this dorm as well, but I don't think that's necessary. We don't want to have too much Minsec. If anything, actually, we want the prison to cater more to, like, Maxsec, um, you know, and, like, uh, Supermax. And then, of course, Death Row as well. I mean, we could start building Death Row pretty soon. Like, we could just have Death Row with a couple of, of medium sec and min sec. But the problem is now is we don't have money. And we're running out of money as well uh, pretty fast. So let's try to um, raise, some, raise some money. I guess we could do, like, a bank loan if we need it. Uh, we could do tax relief for 10 grand. We will save 1,500 taxes per 10,000 of daily profit. Well, I mean, we're not p making 10,000 of daily profit. 
by a long shot. So maybe like that's not the best thing for us to start looking at. Actually, we're doing pretty good with the old bureaucracy. Like uh, we're we're doing we're doing pretty pretty good indeed. Okay, let's check logistics wise. Uh, is it logistics? Prison labor, yes. Okay, so the cleaning cupboard. Uh, we still don't have anybody qualifying to work in kitchen safety and hygiene. Uh, we could get uh, some people working up in this one as well, but we'd have to train them. Uh, maybe we could, like, actually train them. Like, that that would be a good thing. Go into policy. No, we don't need policy. Regime. No, we don't need that either. Programs. Programs is the one that we want to do. We want to start another one here. 9 to 11, we're doing some training in here, and from 9 to 11, we're gonna do some training in here as well. Medium security, you can do it. There's three people in the queue for alcoholics group therapy, uh, and there's four people currently in the queue for pharmacological treatment of drug addiction. There's somebody going to behavioral therapy as well, and it looks like we got role hearings uh, scheduled today, and it looks like one person is uh, eligible for parole. Due for release soon. Great. That's another way to make money. And that's we want to keep that revolving door constantly revolving as well so that uh, it works. Perfect. Okay. Uh, door servos. Let me just check quickly. Are we good? We seem pretty good. Uh, is there anywhere else that we could possibly use some door servos? I don't know. Well, who left this? Who left these ingredients on the floor of the canteen? That's gross. Just, just random ingredients laying around on the floor there. Jesus. Who does this stuff? the hell is responsible for this stuff? Alright. It's time for a CCTV console. And it's time for a chair for that CCTV console as well. We want to have a uh, better line of sight some of these places in here. Like in protective custody. Currently we can't see shit. This is a family cell in here for protective custody. Um, who is actually in protective custody right now? I don't think anyone. Uh, we moved a couple of people over but maybe... I mean, maybe they're in their cells, but it'd be good to get a CCTV camera in there just to make sure that nobody is trying to escape or has already escaped. Pretty sure we don't have any deaths or escapes so far in um, in our Women's Correctional uh, Institute facility for the um, disenfranchised of Upper State New York. I'm, I'm pretty sure, actually, our death count is zero and escape count also is zero. Long may that continue. Oh, crap, wouldn't that be great? Um, Okay, well, we're going to have to start planning some uh, some more expansions, I guess. We probably want to expand up this way and get more medium security. Probably is going to make us the most money. Um, our prison prisoner population in medium security is um, already substantial. Probably about as much as we have in, uh, in Minsec. But um, I think what we're going to try to do here is we're just going to try to, like extend down to here but like really ram them in uh we're gonna we're gonna ram them in hard okay we need to be making we still haven't done like our lawyer stuff which oh that that's a you know what actually that's something that we can start doing right now let's go legal we can unlock the lawyer and then we can get small cells we can pack even more people in all right warden Start researching uh, legal for now. That would be good. In the meantime, we're still going to have to get these people in. So let's do it. We're going to get a whole bunch of more medium security prisoners in uh, to here. We're just going to pack them down here hard. And then when we can get small cells, you bet your butt we're going to pack them in even more. It's going to be like a hen battery. It's going to be incredible. Um, depending on what side of the fence you're on. I mean, if, if you have to guard the prisoners inside the hen battery, it's probably pretty easy. If you're a prisoner who's inside the hen battery, uh, your life probably sucks. Uh, really big balls. But, um, that's the price you pay for, um, you know, messing with the law. I guess. Uh, okay, so common room in uh, medium security, we have that. We're gonna have some more cells up here because we wanna make good use of the space. We might even have like a dorm in here. This, this could just be a little dorm, I guess, and then this'll just be hallway. If we have these like massive hallways leading into just these little tiny hallways, like this is what I imagine like a barracks on a spaceship to be like, you know, just like really fucking tight. Everything's packed in big time. You can't do shit. Everybody's claustrophobic and scared. Um, I wonder if actually, if, I wonder if we do this actually like this and if we don't just extend it like 
further back here. Just get more cells in. I think we could probably do that. And then we can leave, like, our big hallways and stuff, too. Which would be nice. Okay, so a cell here. I have a cell here as well. And then we'll have a cell here. And then um, we'll have a hallway here. And then we'll have some more hallway, like, here. So we could do, like... Oh, actually... Yeah, no, you know what? That works, probably. We could do something like this. It looks like everybody is coming out now for, um... Oh, actually, no, this isn't going to fit at all here. Okay, so this will just be, like, big hallway here, and then we can have, like, something else, sort of like this. And we have it come down here, and then I guess we could just cap it off either there or, you know what, oh, fuck it, we'll just cap it off there, okay? We'll have, like, this big circular hallway, and we can get a guard patrol around it and stuff. It'll be great. All right, perfect. So foundation-wise, we want uh, brick foundations. We're gonna have to build it uh, like uh, so, and then uh, probably like so as well. And then we're gonna have to um, rearrange these fences as well. Man, expanding in this game can sometimes be a little bit tedious uh, because you just have to like constantly um, remake walls and break down old walls and create the new walls and stuff. But you know what? We're not gonna complain too much because actually, this game is fantastic, so it's fine. Okay, perfect. You have your orders, men. Construction men and women of um, of the prison. Wow, look at this. It's like synchronized shower time. Everybody is taking a shower at the same time. They're all clean. They're enjoying the hell out of that. The tattoos do not wash off, sadly, but that's okay. Um, they're going to have to live with their decisions to have a tattoo on their face. Um, we are low on guards, but... We do have some money now. We actually have some positive cash flow, which is pretty good. Um, we're waiting for an entrance to be built here, which um, uh, we could just build like an entrance that goes straight outside. Mm. No, I do not want that to happen. I wish they would come and start building this first. I don't know where all of our construction people are. I don't know where all our janitors are either. Like, look at this. It looks like a, the scene from an apocalypse or something. Like, how the hell are these people living like this? Oh, it looks like we have some um, correctional uh, facility staff janitorial services right now in the dormitory. Making, making sure that everything's all nice and clean and stuff. Um, in terms of our deployment, yes, okay, everything is fine like that, except for, no, that's fine as well. Oh, it looks like we found some scissors. It looks like uh, Kalin Kalinadra uh, Jorel had some scissors on her, on her way back to protective custody. What the hell? And who's this? Findlay. Findlay. Findlay, what is going on? She wants to speak to her family. Well, go speak to them. There's a, there's a phone in the common room right now. Why don't you just go have a chat with them? Go give them a call. Or, you know, plan a visitation. Why don't you plan a visitation next time? Oh, maybe we need some more tables in the visitation room. Okay, let's get some. We're gonna get two more tables. I guess we want to probably make like a little store for the, um, for the, for the girls to go buy like comic books and bubblegum and stuff at as well. And smokes. Of course, they want to, they're going to want to buy smokes, and, you know, they're probably wanna, going to want to try their best to buy... You know what? I'm I'm sick of this. I'm sick of this. You can have some, some solitary time. Jesus. It's too noisy. I can't even concentrate with all that noise. It's the worst. All right. We're going to work on this fence up here, and once the fence is done, then we're going to build the uh, entrance to, uh, to this area, I think. Although... This should be open right now, like this, but it doesn't seem to be. Okay, let's um, demolish these walls then. The fence walls. And then they can finish working on this, and then we should be good. And then we can start packing in some more people. It's actually nice. It's nice that we're back up to 117 bucks a day. Um, you know, profit. Rather than losing $570,000,000 a day like we were before. I don't know what happened. Something just, like, rectified itself, and we're all good now. So that's good. Um, with, uh, with our next um, sort of um, profit margin or whatever, we're going to look to hire some more guards. Uh, we currently have 20 guards for 50 inmates, which to me seems reasonable. But um, these guys have a lot of stuff to do, it turns out, and we're going to probably need some more. In fact, let's just get, like, five more right now. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, now we're back down to minus 333 bucks a day. But that's 
still okay. We can just about live with that. Uh, deployment wise, we want to make sure that this is staff only all the way around here, except for this yard, which is not fucking staff only, but it's because it's uh, it's all fucked up because of the way that I built this. Okay, let's put this brick wall um, here like this now. Perfect. And let us uh, go into materials and let's demolish these walls because we don't need them anymore. And we're also going to demolish these walls as well. If the girls want to come up here and have a fun time in this empty room, you know what? That's fine. I'm good with that. Because hopefully, if we take their shoes off and we just let them run around in their socks, the, the shuffling and running around and having fun will clean the floors inadvertently as well. And we didn't even plan for that to happen, but it's like free janitorial work. Uh, just, just by being, you know, a little bit sort of um, resourceful? Cunning, maybe? I don't know if I would describe myself as the, either of those things, but in this case, I think it's a pretty good idea, and actually, I'm, I'm happy sort of referring to myself under those terms. Just temporarily, not even full-time. Whoa! Look at all the Mountain Dews this guy's going for. This guy, he's feeding the dog! Three packs of potato chips! Man, the dogs are not going to be healthy for long at that rate. That's kind of gross, actually. Okay. So here we go. Uh, it looks like I messed this up as well somehow. Um, we want to demolish these walls here. Uh, because they're part of the foundation or whatever. And then it looks like they're going to build these walls here. And then we can actually have uh, proper sized cells as well. Which would be pretty good. Okay. Uh, we're also going to need to run some uh, utilities up here. Like uh, electrics. So let's do that. We'll run the electrics up to here. Uh, we can even just connect these ones up. It's fine. And uh, we're going to need to get some water up here, too. We're going to have to get a large pipe coming down here-ish. That should be fine. And then we can hook up uh, small pipes to where all the toilets are going to be. It, they're likely to be sort of something like here. I usually put them behind the walls. It's just like a little thing that I like to do for some reason. It's not... It, there's no rhyme or reason to it whatsoever. It's just... I just like to do it. So, so there we go. I've done it. Okay, uh, toilet, toilet pipe, toilet pipe, and then another toilet pipe, and of course this last toilet pipe here too. Perfect, okay, they can start putting that stuff down. We're gonna need some lights in here as well. We're gonna need lights inside this uh, really cramped up uh, hallway. It looks like something you'd see like in, uh, I don't know, some sort of horror movie or something, but of course this is not a horror movie. This is, um, well, not even real life actually when you think about it. It is uh, a fictional uh, prison filled with fictional women who have all committed fictional crimes uh, and are now doing a non-fictional non time for the crimes. Oh look, and they're doing exactly what I said, except they brought mops instead of using their socks. Uh, so that's pretty nice too, I suppose. Uh, we need two more walls here, and it looks like possibly... Oh yeah, okay, no, they're bringing the walls, so that's good. We got the pipes and stuff going in. Everything in Minsec is okay for now, except that maybe people are feeling a bit gross about the whole dormitory situation. Looks like we found a cell phone on Amy Bannatine. Duncan Bannatine's daughter? 42-year-old daughter? I mean, Duncan Bannatine is an old-ass man, so, like, it... It's it's possible that that is the case, you know, that's his his daughter, but who knows? Okay, let's start making our showroom cells so that we can copy and paste our way to uh, to victory all the way down And then we'll make uh, this one up here across the way Perfect. Let's get some objects in here such as uh, a bed we'll Get a bed in here. Let's get some toilets up in here as well Toilets, they're gonna need a light as well. well put the lights here and do we want to give these people some bookshelves? Nah, we don't. We really don't, actually. Oh, yeah, and we're going to need some jail doors, too. Let's give them each a jail door. Perfect. Whoever's making that noise, you trust me. Cadence Mead, what are you doing? Joyriding, dangerous driving, and dangerous driving once again? What are these people so mad about? Oh, my God, they're having a fight. There's... A Jesus Christ, okay. It was Cadence Mead! Cadence Mead? Oh, she's a snitch ex-law enforcement. We didn't pick up on it. Let me pause. Hang on a second. Who else? A, a, we've got a, a dead snitch. What are you doing in here? You're not meant to be! Oh, I messed up the deployment! 
Oh, no! Oh, I messed it up bad! The deployment's all totally messed up, and now I think our protective custody person is gonna get killed, too! Stop it! Oh, my lord. Okay. A narrow escape for our protective custody inmate. Oh, my lord. And it looks like Bailey Cadwell here. Holy crap! Jesus, it kicked off so quickly. I didn't even have time to react. Nothing. What the actual fuck? Well, there we go. We have our first death, everybody. It is, uh, sadly, Ellie Jerome, who was in here um, for causing death by dangerous driving. 11 years. And also perjury. Five years. Ex-law enforcement. Now ex human because she's dead well she's still technically she's still a dead human so maybe still classed as human but she is without life she is totally dead and it looks like our doctors are now going to have to burn the midnight oil make sure wow look at these people have actually been upgraded to um like hardcore jail terms like they're not even medium security anymore uh, we might not even we might have to have like uh, max sec um, before long to house these people. Okay, let's see. Intelligence-wise, informants. We've got some potential CIs here. we got a lot of potential CIs here. Uh, we can get boys. We can get, who's this one again? Hancock. All right, Hancock. Where are you? We would like Hancock to be a CI for us, okay? And you know what? We might even get boys as well. We're gonna get boys in to be a CI for us too. Uh, just for the extra coverage. Okay, perfect. Now we should be able to find out more about medium security. But we'll have to bust at least her down back to medium security. Normal security for you. And Hancock, you can go back to normal security as well. Even though you tried to kill somebody, the real killer here is Bailey Cadwell. Am I right? Oh no, it wasn't. It was Cadence something, wherever she is. Where's where's Cadence? It's not her, is it? Sparks Tinkler. She's relaxing. She's been, she's in here for murder. Fuck me, how are you normal security on a 25 to life murder uh, rap inside the jail? Like, you should be max sec. Oh, holy crap. Okay, well, you know what? Our guards were great there. They responded well. Everybody jumped into action. Somebody did die um, on my watch, and it's because we didn't put them into protective fast enough. Um, that This is the problem. Okay, rooms. We want this to be a cell. Um, it happens. It happens, unfortunately. Okay, they're here to pick up a box, and that's fine. We can go into quick build, and we should be able to just... Boop, 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 and boop. Great. Okay, more cells, which means more money. We have four normal security people turning up in 12 hours time. Uh, we have one prisoner up for parole. Uh, we have visitors, exhausted staff, even though we have the best staff canteen room like in the entire universe, um, pretty much. Uh, four in solitary, one awaiting, four in lockdown. We have a dead body as well, sadly. And uh, armed guards is something that uh, all of a sudden has become like a big priority even though we were just sort of procrastinating with it because now the, the prison has experienced its first death. Uh, and it was uh, ex-law enforcement that we were unable to pick up. Let's just quickly check to see if we can see if anyone else needs our help. We have a skilled fighter. We have a snitch ex-law enforcement who's in the right place right now. Uh, we have another potential CI here for uh, Max Sec. You know what? We're going to recruit her because that could be useful at some point. That could be useful later on. So we're going to do it. All right. And it looks like work is underway to get these other cells up and uh, running and ready for us to use for uh, these other people who... What the hell is going on here? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, yeah. It's because I didn't make the room. It's just like this little... Okay, here. We'll, we'll make this room and then we can copy paste the rest of it. But we'll probably do that uh, next time. Great. Well, um, gosh, it was like an uneventful episode right up until like the last minute and then somebody died. It's always the way, isn't it? All right, well, um, join me next time where we continue to make uh, this big old prison. 
Uh, we'll chop and change it a little bit as um, some of our stuff comes online, like smaller cells and shit like that. But for the most part, everything is running okay, except for that one death. And uh, people seem to be generally pretty happy in this prison, except for that one death. And uh, nobody should have any nightmares tonight when they're going to sleep, except for of uh, witnessing that one death. So, I mean, we can all live with that, right? Right. Great. Okay, as usual, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time!